Welcome to the channel. My name is Trace. I'm a uh, full stack web dev student at Holberton School. Uh, I have a few months left to do some bigger projects. Uh, I thought I'd start developing my digital presence and uh, chronicle some of my trials and tribulations and challenges and successes and uh, you know, I'm just a uh, daily life and, and a programmer or someone studying to be one. Um, yeah, so currently we're working on a Twitter clone using uh, Dart and uh, Flutter. And I have Flutter installed locally. Uh, I downloaded the SDK, installed it through Windows. Uh, I tend to use WSL2 for most of my developing uh, but uh, there seems to be an issue with flutter um, I think it was uh, uh, you know what I should remember this but uh, it requires let's see I'm just gonna look it up there's a problem, and I, I, I started this earlier, but uh, definitely learned a few things about streaming, so I thought I'd try to recreate my initial video, uh, clean it up a little bit. Uh, let's see. Snap. Wow. God, there it is. Okay, so snapped uh, on WSL2 doesn't run because of a uh, system D isn't functioning correctly or something like that. And it just takes a lot of workarounds to get it going. Um, so that's why I went with the Windows install instead. Um, so this would be kind of an atypical situation, but should be fun. Uh, I'm going to be walking through some of the, the projects that Holberton has assigned me for this task. So I'll be grabbing some code from them um, for some of the files they want you to use. Uh, I have got everything set up as you can see here in just a second. I'm using Windows Terminal and just running the PowerShell, uh, set it to admin. So uh, let's see. Flutter version. Take a gander. 3.3.8. Dart. Now, from what I can tell by the documentation, uh, I should be able to say where Flutter, but every time I've done this, it doesn't seem to come back with anything. Uh, I had to update my path variable. Uh, So in here, I just added my Flutter bin. Now, they probably want you to install it with a lowercase, but I'm just used to this Windows type convention. So uh, that's in there. And clearly it's working, but uh, the where the where and the why, or whatever, is, is not. Uh, and it also comes with Dart, as you can see here. Flutter. Uh, and it's supposed to be run something like that, I think. You you run the dart through the flutter. Uh, run dart through flutter in this case, I believe. Now, I do have it uh, in my WSL2. I also have dart installed. So if I come up with any issues there, uh, I can always go back to this which I know has been working in, in some previous projects, but it um, looks like I'm on the same version. So hopefully, just hoping everything works out on Windows. Uh, let's see, my video is placed. It's also the first time I've done any kind of streaming in about 10 years. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Uh, I have a bit of a mustache <laughs> and a beard right now. Uh, I'm a bit unkempt. It's like 
months before bed. I have a 14 month old and uh, this beard has been growing since he was born. So it's just kind of a fun thing. My brother challenged me to uh, grow one after I hadn't shaved for a month when when my son was initially born. And um, anyway, it's getting hot in here, so I'm going to take this off. But yeah, that, that's what it's uh, evolved or devolved into, you know, take your pick. Uh, but it's just fun. You live once and uh, YOLO, right, as the kids say nowadays. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the project says to uh, create a Flutter project inside a specific directory. Now, I think I have the repo set up. Uh, let's see if we can find it. Um, I think it's here. Holberton. LS. CD Holberton. There, there's our... Now, I'm supposed to have a project file in here. The directory breaking bad, so let's see. And you'll have to excuse me if I use some code meant for Linux. I can't remember if it works all the time in, in PowerShell or not, but looks like looks like it is. Okay. Um my headset was dying, so it's plugged in. I'm not used to that either, so I keep banging stuff. Sorry about that. So there's very little on starting a project. Let's in 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 the Holberton documentation. So we're gonna go do some searching. You know what? Let's let's do that. Let me pull this over here. Uh, I don't want to just send out the curriculum questions and information in case there's a you know some kind of copywritten information there. I'm not supposed to be sending out. Uh, just a heads up, I may also start singing every once in a while. I'm going to be listening to music. Uh, it's too bad that I can't share Pandora on here, but I do like to have some music play when I'm coding. Okay, uh, so let's see. Start a Flutter project. That took a very long time. I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm using OBS again for the first, like I said, first time in 10 years, so I'm not sure how it's going to affect my system. I got a 12 year old processor, so <laughs> I definitely uh, am due for an upgrade. As soon as I get a job out of school, that's going to be the first thing I, I go for. Uh, okay, let's see. Learn. To the next level, da da da. So to create my app, okay. So I probably should have done create Breaking Bad. Let's uh. uh let's see, Flutter. I'm gonna assume this is what I'm doing here. Breaking Bad. Hey, well, that's right. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay. Then we're going to find a lib folder. Oh, you know what? I also need... Uh, let's see if this will work. Hey, there we go. Nice. The song I'm listening to is... Uh, Tiesto, The Business. I actually really like this song. It's pretty fun. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. I need a readme. Because most of their checking... I mean, uh, you know, you need to read me anyway, but most of their checking is going to be done depending on that. But what am I trying to say is that 
in Holberton, often the first check is if there's a readme, and if there's not, nothing else runs. Uh, we're just going to throw this in here. Okay, now it says we need to be in the lib folder. There's going to be a main. Okay, well, paste the following code. Let's just uh, let's rename this old. Excuse me, I'm probably going to have to sneeze. Oh, here I can. There we go. That's better, right? I forget that this, it's kind of a newer headset, so <clears throat> I forget it has an onboard mute. All right, let's throw this in here. This is our given main. <sighs> oh, there might be some of that going on too. Main dart. All right, here we go. Boom. Stins. Now I'm, I've done like three projects, small projects, with with Dart, in general. So. Uh, it is all still kind of a little bit new to me. It looks like my spaces, let's fix the spacing. And use spaces, let's go to. Although that one, I mean, this is still technically two. Anytime there's a misaligned. All right. Create a new file, libmodels.dart. All right, here we go. Models.dart. Inside the file, create a new class character with these attributes. So you'll have to bear with me. Again, Dart is relatively new. So uh, name, what is this, character? And you know what? I am going to look at some of my Dart stuff. Let me think about where it's at. Or, you know, I mean, I use a lot of, I, I tend to reuse code that I've done already. Uh, Dart class. example but we'll just uh, you know we'll go through the process class classes I feel like I've seen uh, this more of this type of thing It's a getter. A lot of this is based on TypeScript, from what I've been able to tell. So if you're familiar with like some of these TypeScript symbols, uh, this this is like saying like this may or may not be there. I believe. Uh, and this may or may not be a date time. I find this interesting. This may or may not be an int. Okay, but we're just needing we're just needing a name. And there we go with the four spaces again. Okay, well you know if we're gonna if it's gonna keep defaulting there, although. I'm um, trying to remember how to set this in the settings. I think we can do it for Dart alone. Yeah, 
Yeah, I need I need to scope it to Dart, I believe. So let me let me uh JSON. Let's see if we can find it. Edit settings JSON. Get out of here. Dart. Oh, okay. Let's see. So this is yeah, and then this is what's going on here. Where's my spacing? I don't see any. Okay, so we're gonna grab one of the editor rules. A C. Insert spaces. Yeah, we want insert spaces true and this. So. That should take care of that. Yeah, that's better. All right. So let's see. So we want, uh, let's see, we need a string. Is it lowercase? Don't see it in there. Yes, no, it's upper. Okay, string, we need name. Image URL. This is string int ID. Create a new class constructor, and that's the constructors, I think. This type syntax, if I remember correctly. So we'll say is it a const? Let's look over here too. Where's the constructor? It's just that. I'm under curious about this, but that's fine. So we'll use this example. Character. Start name. Uh, let's see. It accepts one argument, JSON, that initializes the class attributes with their corresponding values. Okay, so I feel like I need a deconstructor or something. Oh, well, you know what? They gave me a prototype. Maybe that works as intended. That's interesting. Okay. The example they gave of like what the image would look like or what the JSON would look like is this. I think I think I feel like there needs to be a callback in here or something. Like I'm not sure what this So anyway, we'll, we'll just let it sit for a minute. Create a new file lib home screen dart. I don't know why I open and close that, but yep. Uh where is that? Home screen dot dart uh, inside create a new stateless wind widget home screen okay so I'm guessing I need something like this home screen Fetch. Let's see, I'm just going to grab this. This is a function they're wanting me to create. It returns a list of all breaking bad characters. Function prototype. Oh, these are prototypes. 
Interesting. Okay. So in C, a prototype is a uh, a declaration of what to expect from a particular function, like what it should end up looking like, so that you can call that function before you're actually creating it um, by including it as a prototype earlier. Uh, so that makes me think that this, okay, so this is the prototype. I should have caught on to that, which means that this is what it'll end up looking like, potentially. Uh, and this is why I need to look at my previous examples, because I don't remember what I did there. I'm pretty sure they're in here. see I'm gonna go find I'm gonna go track down my repo I may have to clone it so yeah it's in its own yeah that's what I was afraid of okay let's see I don't have it here yeah get clone there's the repo mm. Uh, school. Let's see. This is uh, web dart code. You know, I guess technically I could have just looked at my my code online. Do I care? I'm just so used to using VS Code at the moment, and it'll definitely load faster. All right. Let's see. Uh, code. Insiders dot uh, there's a particular section on classes and then it'll s will hopefully help me remember some of the syntax I need to be using JSON to user So the constructor, this doesn't say that uh, I maybe I need to have a required on, on these character. Oh. Uh, this should be saying that uh, unless this is overriding the prototype, hmm. oh, okay. Okay, I think I'm. I think I'm getting where I'm. I need to go. Uh, and this is what they gave me here. Let's just throw this in there. So this is harder to talk about than I thought, because it is such an. Uh, this is an unknown thing to me. Now why? Oh yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's get rid of that. So this is pretty much the same type of syntax here. If this is a constructor, uh, I think the quotes are what's 
throwing things off. There we go, maybe. Although, okay, and then, uh, you know what? Yeah, that's what's up too. Okay, so I don't have my dart uh, extension on here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow, it is all, okay. That's from the, yeah, that's fine. Should probably initialize that before we start changing things, but uh, like create an initial commit with all these changes so that it's easier to see to track. At least that's been my experience when you have some automated process that generates, you know, 10,000 files. Ah, Dart. I want a Dart. Make sure this is here. Install pre release. So it looks like I have it. Maybe not. Mm. We're going to try this one. And I forget that the extensions, because this is running on my WSL connection, it's not, it's not using the same extensions and everything it's got its own list and it looks like I just used the dart that's the same one I believe yeah pre-release yeah okay good 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 so still installing Let's see what I can close. Maybe close Slack. I don't expect anyone to want to talk tonight. I did not anticipate this taking this long. Okay. There we go. Mm. Doesn't look like we've gotten really much of anything else out of it, benefit wise. Okay, sure. Of course, hopefully this will help identify issues. Flutter. All right. And it's already installed. That was nice. All right. So, continuing with this, the constructor come takes the JSON and then it applies the value to each thing. Although this is probably wait, it says char ID. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, I think we've done what that task requires. And then we're on this home screen. Let's get here. Uh, and then we were on the fetch B B characters. It returns a list of all Breaking Bad characters. Okay, so I have already written this too over here uh, somewhere. I think it was in here. And get the quotes. Breaking Bad. This is probably it. Let's see. Fetch. This is printing BB characters. So what am I doing with the fetch? Let's see, it returns a list of all Breaking Bad characters. Uh, so I need to import the character model. Uh, and I'm not too familiar with how to do this. It's not a Dart package, right? Don't I just need to models dart or character maybe mm. 
try just models. Might need dot dart. Let's try that. There we go. We got a character. <laughs> this is going to be a bit of a, you know. Oh, yeah. Stateless widget. Uh, let's see. That's probably in. That's interesting. Home screen. Okay, so that's the one that the default package is using. And that's how we're importing it. And I think, I guess I need this flutter material that dart for the stateless window. I mean, it's the only other thing that's, yeah, there it is. Uh, missing concrete implementation of stateless. Yeah, yeah, I know. I haven't, I don't know what I'm doing just yet, so yeah. Okay, but that's good. So we got everything we needed, all the uh, dependencies rather, for our class call. Oh Jesus, what's going on here now? Name must be initialized. Oh, because I've said it's required. Let's just go ahead and take that out. Let's see what happens to that. Wait, definitely, uh, my syntax is definitely bad here. I see that, some of it. Let me just go double check. Uh, what's it? Okay. Oh yeah, well there are commas too. I don't know why. Oh, these need to be wrapped in quotes, it seems. I'm going to try it out. Oh, no, that's the two JSON. I take that back. I mean, let's, uh, I don't think I can drag this. I would really like to. I mean, let, let's just see what the hell happens. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Uh, now, why is this isn't defined? So I think it's because this is this is messed up. So we're just gonna initialize them blank. Yeah, I think that's the problem. I can re-add the is required if I wanted. Should be able to. And my thought is that now, okay, what the heck happened here? Function body must be provided. A function body must be provided. Okay, that's our inheritance. I'm, I guess it's saying or, I'm really not sure what this is saying here. I assume it's initialize this or initialize super. Because of the inheritance. Uh, I think to both, I guess. Uh, Uh, what was the other one I was looking at? That's the breaking bad function. I think I'm confused as to why, why does this think it needs a funk? Like this is pretty close to the same thing. And then it's implemented this way. Return a new object. 
Where is that? Yeah, it is there. That's that's not where I'd like it to be. Neither of these tabs. Is it this? Is it character is required? Probably need this here. Yeah, I forget, man. Dart, Dart is like C. It's really particular about those end of the line characters. Okay, well that feels better. Can't believe that took so long. Like I said, this is all pretty new stuff. Missing concrete implementation of stateless widget dot build. Try implementing the missing method. So that's what this is. Okay, so we need to. Override the build function. That's like, yeah, the next thing it says. Widget. I'm not sure what that's doing either. Oh, but this, yeah, here we go. So here's the function prototype. from the, the text in my example. And then we need uh, here, return and we'll just try this for now. is not easy code to play with at the moment. Override the build function prototype da 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 da, da. returns scaffold inside the scaffold add an app bar with text breaking bad quotes returns scaffold I mean I'm going to assume that this is something how this is called so we're going to we're going to take a look It's already defined. This is saying that, okay, future is like a promise. So we have an asynchronous call that takes a list character, or maybe the result is a future or it's a list or it's a character. I think it's saying that there's a future list incoming of characters like TypeScript. That's what that's saying. And it's this function now. I think, oh, there we go. That's that's what I messed up on. I forget. Or rather, don't forget. It's I don't think this prototype is what I thought it was, is what it amounts to. So this will work. And it's declared, or it should work. Oh right, I need a, a list of characters. Okay, let's let's do it. So we're gonna grab this breaking bad code or some of it. Uh, so it's an async. Uh, So this example, there's a future void. 
And see, this is where I start getting confused again. Uh, when you're dealing with JavaScript, a promise never actually returns. You only go deeper in uh, unless you use awaits. But let's see. Let's grab this package. I'll probably get both these. So we'll do the HTTP get. URI dot parse. I apologize I'm I'm fading so there might not be as much talking now why don't I have HTTP get package target URI doesn't exist try creating the file or saying that URI or try using a URI for the file that does exist uh, so this dependency isn't install HTTP for Dart. Now I assumed it came pre-installed, but This package contains a set of high-level functions and classes that make it easy to consume HTTP requests. It's multi-platform and supports mobile, desktop, and the browser. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, here, I can just take this over here. I don't know why I'm hiding some of my, I don't need to hide all of it. I'm just used to using the same window as my uh, class stuff. So that's definitely it. Now, why that's not a part of Dart? Uh, let's see. Use package HTTP and Flutter. Let's see if it what it says. Yeah. The dependency sections of the pub space .yaml file. Each package of pub dev import the HTTP package. Ah, uh, the YAML file. Okay, so I believe that was created here in this one. Dependencies. All right, so we're gonna go fix that over here. I assume there's a YAML. Whew. Okay, so let's see. Dependencies. Let's just uh, throw that here. SDK Flutter. Definitely a different environment. Not sure if this is going to pull what I want the way I want it to. Breaking Bad, okay. What other packages that your package needs in order to work? Tell me where your package depends to the latest version considering Flutter Pub upgrade, major versions alternately. Dependencies can be manually updated by changing the version numbers below. Da 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 da. Flutter Pub updated. Well, okay. Let's just see what happens here. I'm 
Breaking Bad. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Yes, okay. And then, well, Dark Convert should be built in. But now we're getting our HTTP gets stuff, it looks like. Clearly it wasn't... Yeah, it's not... It's not syntactically correct yet, but that's good. So far, so good. Now, why doesn't this find import dart convert to using library code? So I'm probably going to have to import it on the dependencies again. Mm. You see how this... Yeah, I just don't know enough about this Flutter install. Use convert with... That's that one. Ah, okay. Yeah, let's get out of here. Use dart, ah, convert, and Flutter. This is not helpful. It's the library. To use this library in your code, import. Yeah, that's what I did. To code I use, can the top level JSON? Now, I assume. Like, I needed to add a dependency before, but I don't see. I thought this was just a part of the built in. Let's see, flutter unable to see dart convert. Flutter line create hover class is seen below. Da 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 da. Ah, da 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 da. Okay, so this is not at all what I wanted either. Oh, we're blocked on null assert an Android test. Let's do uh, Is it because it's not being used? Is that what this up blue underline is? That that feels I think that's maybe I'm not sure what these blue underlines mean yet. Okay, we're just gonna keep keep going forward. I'm too tired. Mm -hmm. And where did that? Oh, I must have closed it. Come here, Breaking Bad. Okay, get out of here. All right. <sighs> I feel like I could use the arrow syntax there, but let's do a dot then. I'm going to throw this on the other line. I just like the way that looks better. Uh, let's see, we're going to get our response. Res. For, let's see, now... I think we need to convert. JSON decode. Yeah, there we go. So let's see. Return. Let's see. We can just say, should be able to say, JSON decode res.body. Oh my gosh. Come on. Mm. 
So yeah, right? Like I, I just, I'm pretty sure this syntax is not what I want. I mean, maybe. I think it's on the other side. I mean, I should be able to see it up there if it's. Oh, this is pretty ugly. All right, so we're gonna get, we're gonna asynchronously call this. It's gonna return the promise with the list, or that returns a list. Uh, I'm not sure where the issue is here. Register callbacks to be called within this future completes. Call when this future completes. Leads with a value. Uh, uh, do I need a, do I need a catch? I think you can just say print on error. Uh, I definitely used, yeah, catch, yeah. Well, let's just, uh, oh, okay, let's return the string. Yeah, let's do that. Well, that that's expecting a string. This would probably need to say like, or string. Can I throw error? Let's just throw the error. That just breaks everything. Can't be returned from the method. Future dynamic. Okay, let's just get this out of here. All right, now this is just returning the decode. Oh, shoot. Is there a list comprehension in Dart? The map method. this okay Basically, I need to take this JSON body. You know what? Let's just uh, let's just start. Man, I wish I could test. Ah. Oh. Basically, at this point, again, I'm just really unfamiliar with Dart. It's been like just a few tasks, but I basically print print the result of this. Print whatever this is. My assumption is it's going to give me an object with all the things in it, and then Okay, so if I'm getting the object with all the stuff in it, and I want to int list dot map x. Okay, so this is adding one. If the list is one, two, three, four, then we're gonna map two list. So this this should be a an object though. It's not a list. So or is it? Maybe it is. You know, whatever. Let's just take a look. Let's take a guess. I'm gonna do dot map on it, uh, and we're gonna say which which the char char right? It's a character. Each one is a, is a char. 
and our map returns a character with char. Yeah, I think that's uh and then we get in the map and then we want to list. If if what this says is true. Basically we're saying we want to return the uh, JSON object version of this mapping each hopefully this is a list it can be dynamic so I'm, I'm hoping for a list there and then we're going to map char did I misspell map no this map do I, does map require an import <sighs> the map function will return a character version of the chars and uh, then we will I guess if it's already a list I don't need to relist it but this seems to think I do this this example is definitely telling me to I put the two list at the end is to get a list of int if you don't you end up with a mapped list iterable which is the return type from map oh well in there there we go so uh map and then so i'd probably need the map or the two list which should give me a list of uh f list characters list of characters if everyone is mapped correctly now why is this failing parent name is required but there's no corresponding argument Okay, probably because I jacked up because this is supposed to just take one object and this is expecting three as the input. So. JSON? basically saying that this JSON is required oh yeah no yeah I'm tired all right let's just get rid of that <laughs> it isn't defined okay so I need that but I don't need it to be required And it's going to say it needs to be defined because of its type. The implicit default value is null. I don't, I don't understand this enough to, to understand why this is, uh, I mean, this doesn't seem much different than this up here. I thought this was setting the default values, but maybe it's that. And I'm too tired to read all the class information. I'm going to have trouble just trying to get this to the point where I can test it. Missing the the build. Okay, let's go fix the build. Override the build. I did that here. Turn the scaffold. Inside the scaffold, add an app bar. Okay, app bar. Uh, Flutter scaffold app 
far. <coughs> Turn scaffold at bar. Yeah, that's scaffold. At bar is breaking bad. Oh, okay. Hang on. Let's do at bar total. Okay. So. Phew. Looks like I need to do an override. Decorator, that should, I'm assuming this tells that it's overriding whatever pre-existed there. App bar, okay, so we need to say app bar. Give me, there it is. This is actually a lot more difficult looking at the documentation on the same window. I often have it over here, so I'm not used to having such a cramped coding space. Let me get rid of this terminal too. That'll probably help. This part's kind of interesting. I, I like this little comment that shows up. I don't typically write those for the end or the closing tab. I'm assuming this would be title. Uh, title const text although I assume a string would also work but this There's a lot more options here than I anticipated. Uh, unexpected text. Yeah, that's all the way down there. Is it that? Is that why? Hold up, this expects dynamic is okay. I have dynamic. Type dynamic. Too many positional arguments. Expected zero. Expected zero. But this would define it as one. I think that's the part that was confused. Like, is required is saying that I have an object that has these things in it, and that's that's what's required. And these are the initial values. So, yeah, what the hell's going on here? Name is required. Well, how am I supposed to know that this has that in there? But it does. So. Clearly something I've done is, is incorrect. And this is expecting three strings as input. So like if I were to say 
uh, name URL ID. Or I guess technically this one is like a zero. String, string, int. Oh, man. I thought I was getting somewhere with this before, but clearly I don't know enough about it than, uh, know less about it than I thought I did. is valid. This is a user. Yeah, all those are required and then it's and there's no initial value and then it just returns it's returning the user info as an object. Oh, this is a lot of this is really basic. This is a setter and a getter for private values. To JSON. This is what I used. Now, why? Do I need a two JSON method? No, it's just returning the object. Doesn't make any sense. Mm.
Okay, because this is what I've screwed up here with the... Clearly, I've mistaken the way this works. Okay. So my assumption right now is that this is these are the values that are there. This is like the, this is the constructor and it's setting initial values if they're not given. And I know maybe okay, this is the from JSON method. So if I can say character from JSON and I get the JSON and then send it in there. So if that's the case, then I need to have character dot character dot from JSON with the JSON in there with char in this case. To list isn't defined for the type future because this needs to be there and that's what the future is returning wow golly okay Whew. we got there eventually i think that seems like everything's checking out except for this because let's see use key in widget constructors mm, not sure i'm familiar with what that is i don't see a key actually Use key. Let's see. Return material app stateless widget. I don't think I've returned anything. The build. Oh no, I guess I am doing that. And it returns a scaffold. They're returning that. Let's try this. Okay, the linter kicked in there. Yeah, I do like this. That's better. That's cleaner. I forgot about that for a reason. Uh, let's just move this over here. Actually, like, nope. Okay, linter, thanks for... I really don't like that most of the time. Not sure I follow the two tabs, but maybe that's a standard thing. Return, and then everything's the, no, this. This is the one thing. Use key in widget. What the hell is this even saying? Could you expose the ability to, to provide a key when creating public widgets? Bad. Extends, da-da-da, good. Class. 
my public widget dot super key my public widget okay so I don't oh my map key super key okay all right now I'm seeing it all right let's get it I'm assuming it's like a react key or mm, object manipulation what do they call that rendering object rendering or component rendering is made easier with a key let's just take this direct and then we're going to say home screen okay maybe we got that all right so I uh, knowing knowing very little using reference points from other stuff and not exactly like again I got a kind of a, a knowledge of TypeScript but I'm not always on board with what's going on in Dart. Set scaffold body to future builder to future builder where the future argument is the data returned by fetch. And the builder argument is a function that accepts two arguments, context and snapshot and returns. Snapshot contains data. Oh man. So this is this is where we're supposed to end up <laughs> with a list of all the characters and their images and stuff. Ah, oh, this is this is the the one thing I would say is a problem with Holberton is you end up with these big projects with no context of how to even start. So I've got to spend a lot of time just looking at how to launch this uh, default app. Now, this is probably in the original main. So let's like look at the old main and like see some of this helper text. Which is if your application this widget, so it's this widget, yeah, because it's my app, and there's a key. Okay, so that seems like a common theme. Okay, so so I guess we can we can see how disastrous our attempts were with uh, Flutter Run. from within this folder. I'm not quite sure where this, do I need to be in the Breaking Bad? Probably need to be in the Breaking Bad. Flutter run, let's just see what happens because I have no idea. Uh, multiple devices found. Uh, let's try Chrome. And I mean, at the very, at the very least, let's see. Right now, what do we expect to have happen? Uh, this, this, this should be there. This was never called. So I, I expect there to be an app bar with the Breaking Bad quotes text on it. Waiting for a connection from debug service on Chrome. Okay, so let's see what we can figure out here. Yeah, it's probably gonna be like download this extension right here, and I'm, I'm that's what I'm hoping for. Refresh repo with. Oh, 
okay, yeah, we did. Yeah, and there it is. Okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. Now, what did this open in? That is Chrome. Or is it? What? <laughs> what? Okay, what did it say? Listening, let's see. Launching Dart and Chrome in debug mode. This app is linked to the debug service. Running the sound office. Did you run profile on Chrome is available at Flutter? So let's see. So if I just hit this, is that gonna? This is the debugger. Now they're both the debugger. Where did this? What's different here? Uh, hmm. Okay. Clearly, no, this is the same. Just opened an anonymous. Oh, now it's, and then it's done. Well, and this is going to fail. Okay, so I don't need Chrome actually open. All right, you're learning stuff. We're learning. We're learning. Uh, let's see. I guess I need let's let's cancel. Terminate batch up. Yes. Flutter run. Uh, what was it? D. Two. Uh, let's see. I guess it's Chrome. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Hot reload. Press R on the console where you... Yeah. Okay, so basically we're just going to take uh, this scaffold and in this scaffold body, so we're going to add a body here and that's going to be golly, I don't like this formatting. Wow. Really don't like the formatting. I gotta turn that formatting off. I forgot that it's gonna do that. This is not how I like to see it. That's what I like. And even this, I probably, I think I would add a tab here. Okay, uh, let me find. I can remember where the settings are for the. God, it's gonna format it. I mm, don't like that. Uh, I gotta remember where those settings are. I disabled it already once. Dart format. Let's see. Hang on. No, I know. I know. I know. Yeah, I think it was. Okay, I can go here. No, I can go here. Dart settings. Uh, workspace. What?
Wait, what? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Maybe it's in the workspace? I think it's here. Yeah, that is what I wanted, but... No settings found. Uh, God, I know I just did it a few minutes ago, and I'm, I already can't remember what I did. Say, so that's, that's what happens when you have a... Oh, 14 month old you well any any kid any any little baby why can't I there Jesus Christ let's get that out of here format type format on save no jeez false that's all I need False. Get this out of here. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Do not like it. Sam, I am. I do not like auto format. I am. Auto format. Uh, ing. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Yeah, right. That's better. That's tabbed in because it's actually on this and not on the map. The same thing the map is on. Or is it? No, it is. It is on the same thing. Okay, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Breaking Bad stuff. Okay, so we need to tell it the body of the object. So we're going to give it a body tag. Body. This says, let's see, to future builder, future builder. Key, dynamic feature, dynamic, creates a widget that builds itself based on the latest snapshot of an interaction with the future. Must not be null. So it sounds like I need to set the builder to that function. The builder argument is a function that accepts two arguments, context, and snapshot, and returns. The future argument, okay, so it says future, is our fetch db characters. Gotta get out of here. If snapshot contains data, get grid view builder. If snapshot contains data, what does that even mean? This is this okay, this is like you know what, to hell with it. I mean, like here's here's where we are in the task. Uh so we need to override the build. Let me make sure we've done everything. Dart home screen, create a new da 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 home screen. That's what we're doing. Future list da 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 the build. Yeah, we overrode the build. Turn scaffold. We got that inside scaffold. Breaking bad. Clearly, clearly that part's working. If snapshot contains data, let's see. Get scaffold body to future builder. Which is what I tried here. Where the future argument is the data returned by where the future argument. So, I mean, that's what I tried to put here. Future argument is the data returned by here. Mm. The builder must not be null. If snapshot, what the hell is it?
Oh, on the latest snapshot of interaction with the future. Based on the latest snapshots, that's what it's talking about. Oh, I gotta sneeze, sorry. Of course I can't sneeze. <coughs> okay. It accepts two arguments, contacts and snapshots. And returns the snapshot contains data. Grid view builder. If snapshot returns an error, center widget with text error. If snapshot is loading, center widget with So I guess that's what it's waiting on this is this is the snapshot, it seems. If snapshot is still loading, center widget with circular progress indicator. And the builder argument. Okay, yeah, the builder argument. Okay, oh, I, I got it. God, I was like, just had to read it like five times. The builder argument is a function. <coughs> That accepts two arguments, context and s arguments, context and snapshots. Yeah, context, snapshot, and returns. If snapshot contains data, now how I forget how to do this part. I don't think I need the error. The arrow implies return in this case. So <coughs> if uh, if the snapshot return, let's see, snapshot contains data, dot data, the snapshot is going to be the list, I believe. So if I say length, List of characters. Not, yeah, okay, good. I'm not sure what that part is. How do I, let's see, get get the length of a list in Dart. I feel like that should be pretty obvious. Length of a list with da da da. Dot length, okay. So if, if dot length, now why isn't that? It's defined for the type async snapshot so what objects what stuff is here i'm i'm guessing data the latest data received by the asynchronous rotation if this is non null has data will be true okay so let's try that has boom okay yeah, we're going to get this done. It's going to be nice. And then I'm going to be done for the day. Because it's like almost 2 in the morning. No, it's almost 1. I don't even know what time it is. And I've lost my window. Let's see. Dart package. I don't think I need... I'm just going to open a new window. I don't need any of that right now. Contains data. It says return. Return grid view. Oh God, what the hell is that? Return grid view dot builder. What does this even say? Why is it injecting all this in here? Grid delegate item builder? Mm, I have no idea what this is.
Yeah, I yeah, I get that. I need to know what the hell this function is doing. <sighs> so I can know how to call it. Now, why is that capital? Okay, it's lowercase, I guess. Build context. Okay, so... Item builder. So item item builder context. Fuck. Can't be assigned to the parameter type widget function build text end. Isn't that what it wanted? I could have sworn that's what that meant. Yeah, there's there's the exam. I need this pop-up example. Come back. Build context item builder. Now that said that it was a build context. Build context. It's right, freaking there. Widget function. Does it need a widget? I don't know what the int is supposed to be. Like I get, I have, I could give it a build context, but right, if it's if it's item builder, it wants context. Yeah, that's what I thought. Context, and I just do that, I guess. What is this returning? Widget? Let's go look one of these up. And I'm done. I'm done with this part. Like this this is what I'm what I'm looking at, I assume. It's a it's going to be a widget function that returns a widget. I'm I'm guessing, but I don't Let's see, Flutter. Flutter. Grid view class widgets library. Genetic custom scroll view. Oh, wow, there's so much stuff here. Computer space to part using accesses spacing. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, this feels like so much to digest. I just want to see... Grid view builder. 
I have no idea what this is. Mm, this is frustrating. I thought we'd get this done. Maybe I can just say something like this. That's the grid delegate. Is it not like this? It creates a delegate that makes grid layouts with a fixed number of tiles in the cross axis. Yeah, that seems pretty obvious, but why is it hating that now? Because I need this probably, uh, let's see, zero. Context. I don't know what the item builder return card. Int index return. Okay, so let's see. So maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't dig through this enough. Does that need an import? It says const, so let's try const on it. Hey, that's beautiful. Okay, somehow I just caught, yeah, I see what I did. All right. So it's really just now a matter of returning like this builder. So. Where's the context come into effect? I, I still don't see context anywhere in here. Like colors, like what? It's just, I guess the context, I can have access to it. I think I got it. I think I got it. Now this is not gonna look right, but if I get it, then I'm done. I'm just, I'm done for right now. Let's see, we're gonna do a card. Um, and we're just gonna return a bunch of shiz. So, item builder, where's this closing right there? Yeah, there it is. Now, why does that one have one? Oh, because they're not. Yeah, it's just the way I wrote it. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, card, text index. Um, I'm guessing the index is auto fed. Body, let's see. Okay, so let's just see what this wants exactly. Cross progress, circular progress indicator. The snapshot is still loading. Oh, Jesus. This is just if it has data. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Create new file. Character tile. Dot dart inside of. Create a new stateless window. Character tile. Add class attribute character. Overlay the build function. Function prototype widget build. Returns grid tile. Grid tile widgets to look as follows. It's just like saying, make it look like this. <laughs> just, just make your make your shiz look like that, without any kind of context on like how this is ever done. Mm, thanks.
Thanks, class. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, okay, so at this point, we, we should be able to assume that there's data. We should be able to assume that this will fire off. And I should at least get a thing here. Let's let's hit this R. Okay. Try fixing bug errors. Non-null value must be returned since the return type widget doesn't allow null. Builder. Oh, fudge. That's only if it has data. Okay. You know, we're just gonna we're just gonna grab this sucker. And we're gonna we're just gonna return it anyway. And that should be it. Now let's see, try again, let's see R. And I don't I don't remember how many I think there's fourteen. Okay, right, clearly there's more. Okay, clearly there's a lot more. Wow, okay, it just keeps going. But this worked, right? So now it's a matter of <coughs> accessing the context. Um, let's let's try let's try uh, context context dot name followed by there, uh, I think I need this guy. Context dot. What? What are the? Th there's three. The name, image URL, and ID. Image URL. Image URL. Context dot ID. Now, when I save this and I hit the R again, we should at least that. Yeah, look at us go, baby. Wait, what the hell? No. No. What the fuck? Silver grid delegate it, it context.name What the fuck? Okay, all right. Let's just uh I don't I can't make heads or tails about what just happened. We're going to try and inject the text of the Oh, that's not, I did not mean to do whatever it was I hit. Silver grid delegate. What the hell is this even saying? So the context is not at all what I thought it would be. Wait, it's the snapshot. Okay, let's let's check the snapshot. But it's not in our you know what whatever. This should be here somewhere. If the snapshot has data, it's probably gonna have to be snapshot dot data. Snapshot list characters. So how do I get the fucking data out of this? I mean zero? Whew. That's not it. Async snapshot. Expected value of type future. But got one of type list dynamic. Oh, son of a bitch, really? So my async snapshot of list character is getting list dynamic type list dynamic ah uh, i wish i could i wish i could just you know let's just let's see print snapshot like how do i how do i debug this
can I console log? No. Print seems to be there. Print is Dart core. Do I need to import Dart core? Probably I need to import Dart core. Let's try it. Import Dart core. Come on, buddy. Come on. The object to the console. The void void print calls in production code. Yeah, whatever. I get that. But why? What is it that makes that a faulty call? Let's just save it. Let's see if it'll... Maybe it's just like, hey, you don't really want... Okay, good. Good, good, good. Don't want to type list dynamic. Well, did my errors change? Wow, what is all this? List dynamic. Yes, thank you. I don't even know, I don't even think this is running. How do I, how do I make sure this is a list of type characters? So if this is, I wish I could see. Okay, um, we need to get away from this await code. We're gonna say res let's see const res equals await. Const variables must be initialized with a const value, right? Okay, so let maybe. Uh, dynamic. I forget that I have to type class everything. Isn't used. Okay, good. So there's a dynamic return, and then uh, let's let's let. What does this return? Dynamic. JSON equals JSON decode. Res.body and then uh, JSON.map and then we're we're at where we were so and oh come on I hate when I hit the wrong key so uh, 
dot to list. Actually, it's already a list, right? I mean, like that's what we're again we're assuming this. So maybe that was the problem. What I fuck up here? This needs a return. This should be a list. Can't be returned from the method. The return type of future method. Type iterable. Fuck, it's an, it's an iterable. What is? Uh, so okay, so then two lists, and then I can do dynamic on it still. So that should fucking return what I want it to. Now why is that? The value of type feature that we got one of type list dynamic. Son of a B. Like this is a freaking character. Do I need to say character? Like what is that? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so clearly I can't do it this way. I can't use this map because the map is dynamic. So, so let's just uh, for char and JSON. Four, four in let's go out. Four in loop, dart. So I'm just. It feels like I'm just butting up against type problems here. For var pop in object. That's what I thought for. Oh, I need to say var, and I probably need parentheses var, char, and thing. Okay. Uh, I feel like I can comprehensively. No, it said I needed to do map. Yeah, because I'm thinking Python. Comprehension doesn't exist exactly. So let's see. List. Let's call it a list uh, out put equals blank list. Hopefully that doesn't throw a shit fit. Okay, so let's see. Output dot append uh, what was the call down here? Character from JSON char. Start list dot append. Let's probably add. Add. Yeah. Okay, and then we return output. List dynamic. Fuck. Why? Why? From JSON returns. Oh, it's dynamic. 
Oh my god, is that what I've been doing this whole time? I could have used this... Oh, man. We're going to type character. Okay, it's mapping. I don't understand what I'm what I'm doing wrong here. Key value, mapping the key value. The key dynamic. I need to say like all that other stuff declare the type return from this where am I where am I missing that Why do I need a new here? Clearly not. Unnecessary new keyword. What the hell? List characters. Yeah. Uh and see this is this is the this is some bullshit. Character. Like if I could if I could cast stuff in this code as another thing, it would it just feels like it'd be super easy. And why why can't uh, static static from JSON returning dynamic instead of class dart it was really to the class and not the object which is this so from the name function you need to create to do entity don't have the object yet which means yeah yeah da 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 so you need static here da 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 Passing your JSON via constructor using static is most clean is must clean and common to JSON. <sighs> yeah, I, I get this, but like how how do I get it to return?
variable is statically known to be some super, super time. Ah, oh, this is so frustrating. I hate to admit it, but this might be where we give up for the day. Like, I get typing, but... And see, this is, I don't, I don't understand this part, like, character, am I supposed to say character? Cleared with zero type parameters, but a, yeah. Like, where do I say that this is a character? Oh. A value of type list character character from the method fringe because where's this list characters? I mean that's what I let's see. Return of invalid type. So, it, I mean, it, it is just supposed to be a fucking character. I would think, I would think if I want a single character out of this, it just makes a character. Character list. Now, now, why this wants to be a list character, I don't, I don't get. Like, I simply want type list dynamic. And see, that's my that's my friggin' problem right there. This is not dynamic. This is a character. I don't, I don't know why. Mm. Like, can I declare that this is a character? Like, why can't I freaking and see, I could, I could reclassify this I could cast it as something else but in dart there is none of that from what I can tell and it's just so so frustrating so frustrating what is this dynamic why is it dynamic how do I tell it it's not dynamic anymore list maybe oh maybe I need to define it here I want a list of characters check character come on and then maybe, maybe, dear God, yeah. 
Not found. Dart. Oh, well, what the hell? I have no idea what that was. I'm sure if there's something else. Wait, no, no, no. Wait. Oh! Snapshot. Instance of character. Instance of character. Thank you, Jesus. I just needed this instead of the dynamic. I don't know. It's so... Yeah, I was like, why is it a list? But I predefined this variable as not a list of characters prior. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I'm tired. There's no excuse. But I got that at least. So snapshot zero. What is... Why is that... So, okay, I was able to print the snapshot. I need the context as well. Oh, can I only print one thing in a thing? Too many, one expect with two. Jeez, I forgot that. Why is that considered snapshot? And this is a, I could turn this into a function. I probably should. Dirty state future connection. Async snapshot. I need to know. I don't know what the context is supposed to be. I guess it doesn't, I mean, it exists here. Now, why does snapshot zero <laughs> send all this shit in here? Snapshot dot name S snap snapshot dot image URL snapshot dot ID as well as trying prior I just get a bunch of zeros I'm not even putting index in anymore like where is this coming from Image URL. Oh, that's not what I wanted. <sighs> text. The text doesn't matter what I put in here. Like, like I should at least get stuff at this point. Why is, what is that doing there? Oh, Jesus Christ. It's firing off, firing off, firing off. This hits, and it overrides it with that. Mm, okay. 
because my check is working. And now this should be like null, 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 null until it hits the right one and then they should be values. No, come on, really? Come on. Snapshot index. Is this how this works? I feel like I'm not getting the full. I think it's this one, maybe. I don't remember in Dart. There. Okay. Type int operator isn't the type. Try to find the operator. Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, yeah, this. This would say that I'd. I would get the index. <laughs> Why wouldn't that work? It's a list of characters. And it's because it's data. Son of a bitch. Is it a function? I don't know how to access this. Let's kick it. The latest data received from the asynchronous yeah, computation. So I should be able to call index off of it. Okay, let's just let's just try this. It's now it's gonna fail. All this is gonna fail. Oh, God bless America. Maybe I could just call context. I mean, I would think there would be something there. Context. Build a content type. Avoid using braces and interpolation when not needed. Oh wow. Okay, thanks. Thanks, coach. Hopefully nope. Yep. Yeah. Ah god damn it. Let's just get rid of this. Running. Okay, so when it fails. Are you, wait, are you kidding me? What did I break? Type widget. Refer const with constant. Can, can I just index? Wow, okay, that solved everything. Wow, okay. Come on. Okay, so it's going to be numbers until that instance of character. Instance of character. It's all of them. Data index. Why do you hate me? As data will be true. If the error is like, what the fuck? 
can tell me there's a fucking error. Operator cannot be called on list character? Because potentially null. List is from... Characters from... How can that be potentially null? Ha <laughs> ha! Wow. Zero. Isn't defined for the... Okay, yep, wait, no, you're right. Dot data. And then it's... You can tell me this is not a good fucking way to do this? Okay, if this is non-null, hash... Has data will be true. This will be null. Snapshot dot. Okay, so okay, I don't I don't think it likes it, not wrapped. That's a TypeScript thing. If it's not wrapped in a check for the null potentials, can't be unconditioned for the receiver can be null. We call yeah. Come on, God, get out of my way. Using. Question mark. Is it right here? No, that's not it. That's not what I meant to do. Yeah, it may or may not exist. Okay, uh, R. Snapshot data. Okay, down here. Okay, so question mark. Oh. Okay, I'm getting back in TypeScript mode. It's going to be a minute. Instance of character. Okay, so dot name. And then we're going to throw this in here. You know what the hell with this? Uh, no, I don't know if that ends up with weird characters. Dot image URL. Dot ID. Hmm. Let's go. Come on. And we're done. <sighs> Let's see. Now we need to know how to do a background of Dart. I'm not done. But, like, fuck, I want to be. I'm going to go share this with my compatriots be like, well, it's a start. Perseverance pays off. Uh, next. Okay. So the last things we're going to do. Okay. I say last things. It's like it is two in the morning now. And I've been on just talking talking that talk for two and a half hours now you've been sitting here with me or maybe not but oh dude i yeah so i wasn't watching the chat i didn't even know that i had people in here to be honest <laughs> Uh, uh, it's just been a long night. So yeah, we got we got here. Basically, we're gonna put the uh, image uh, on a background because the goal right now is for it to look like this over here. That's those are the image URLs I can only assume. Oh, I can't highlight in this. Wow. Okay. Well, let's see. We should be able to get our print here as well so 
uh, snapshot. Let's just do let's do the URL. I just want to check one, make sure that image comes back. Make sure of what the image comes back with. Uh, uh, yeah, let's just do that. Wait, what I break? Oh yeah, no index. Okay, we'll assume zero. That's fine. Get out of here. And then bada bing. Yeah. Uh it's a lot bigger. Hmm. Okay, it wants the center, it looks like. Center section, certain heights. So we'll have to figure out how to handle images in Dart. But with that, we'll be good. Background, height, size of this div. I'm going to have to figure out all that sort of design, all the front-end design functionality. But we got the data. We sent it to the card. This card. Whew. What a night. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out. People, I didn't. I apologize. I need to be better at this. This is like first time doing all this uh, in ten years. So anyway, I hope you had fun. Catch you next time. Thanks for being here. And I got to figure out how to turn this off too. <laughs>